YouTube, what's up? Uh, that is a far cry from a scat pack with nitrous. <laughs> that is a 2022 Nissan Altima. And I'm putting on a class two trailer hitch so I can take my bike out to go riding. Uh, riding season is upon us. And it is a beautiful day today. I just wanted to make this video because um, there's one video I saw online on how to do these on an Altima that U-Haul posted. Problem is that guy's Altima must be older than this one and it's not quite as easy as his setup was. So yes, first thing is first, I got it up on the uh, on the ramps. It's a wheel chalk in front of the front wheel. Anyways, um, you gotta take off the mufflers first. It's a, what was it, a 15 millimeter on that clamp there. So you got two on either side. And his exhaust, see that right there? My exhaust bends and go, there's a little L shape. His exhaust, I don't even know how it went through there, but it was straight. So his just came straight right out. So mine took a lot of wiggling and it came off. He didn't have to remove heat shields. I did, I had to drill the stupid rivets out and I'm gonna have to put self-tapping screws in the frame. Um, the other difference is this is a hitch for an Altima. I'll uh, see if I can put description, part numbers, whatever in the uh, description, but his bolted right here and he fished these little bitty cheesy brackets for the uh, carriage bolts through the frame, which, you know, that's the subframe or whatever, uh, which seems all cool and everything. And mine doesn't. Mine goes through the floor of the trunk. And I got two bolts already holding it on. So you, you drill in, you, you got to hold up the uh, hitch from below, mark your center holes drill up from below and then having a step bit is a godsend if you don't have one of these bits and i got like three different ones they're freaking awesome anyways drill a pilot hole through there and then use the step bit from the top side make your holes bigger and then these are some bp brackets way better than what he had so then again, I use a step bit. So the problem is this little seam right here is making this crooked and that push, pushes the bolts through at an angle. So everything wasn't quite lining up. So I used a step bit to make those holes bigger. And Loyola, easy peasy. So all I gotta do is put the bolts on, the nuts on, and put everything back together and that's uh you can't get any easier than that maybe an hour of dorking around but that was me mostly me trying to figure out why mine was different than his um yeah i'll show you when it's all together and then i'll show you how to do the wiring for it i'll make a separate video for that but that one's a plug and play uh this is going to be an addendum to the first part of that video uh 2022 ultima the hitch itself is actually on there. Um, so the correction addendum part is that it's a class one hitch. I don't know why I said class two. So it's a class one. Make sure that you're, uh, if you get the kit from Amazon that it comes with the uh, receiver. Mine did not. So I had to call customer service and get it. And the ball is separate. The pin is separate, so you get nickeled and dimed to death, as you would expect. Um, big, thick steel brackets. Put your carriage bolts in, and so now I'm going to show you the uh, wiring real quick. Um, these side panels pop out. There's a piece of plastic right there that comes out. Those are these little guys right here. So just put a little screwdriver in there and you can kind of pry it out. And I can't do it one-handed. 
Just take my word for it. If you pop it out like this, it pops out real easy. In fact, I've never had these little things pop out so easy in my life. Usually those things break. So take those out, move all this crap out of your way, unhook this. So, whoops, bumping the uh, lock button. So you unhook this, I already did that. All your colored wires go to this side. Male and female, obviously. The male's gonna go in there. Click it. Hard to do one-handed. So, hold on a sec. All right, so that's in there like that. Push this little tab. See that little thing right there? Push that in and pull it out. It's a lot easier when you're not trying to film yourself like a fucking goofball. So your green side goes to the right. That is a female connector. We're gonna put the male in. Clickety click. Put this side up. Clickety click. So what I'm gonna do is tuck all this crap back in here, zip tie it so it's nice and neat. Here's the uh, connector that goes to the trailer. Jesus, can't do this and film at the same time for to save my life. Anyways, you put this little rubber protector over it. Golly. Boyola. So anyways, um, you have two options with that. You can fish it down. Where'd my light go? Down there, you can fish it through there. And you can come out and have it dangling, but I don't want it exposed to the elements, so I'm just gonna leave it in the trunk. And then you're gonna have to, uh, they supply you with, so there's a black power wire. They supply you with a bunch of black wire and this fuse connector, which is gonna get gonna get that right there you're gonna put that connector on the end of the red wire put that fuse in here obviously connect that to the battery um, put these on your black wire and hook it up to your battery and you can fish that down along there uh, once it's all done I'll show you how I fished it because it's nearly impossible to do all this while I film so anyways So all the wires are tucked in, everything's back in. And remember, everybody, zip ties are your friend. That's the plastic piece that came out. And it's held in by two things on either side, which reminds me, they gotta go in. And then there's some tabs here. Maybe there's four, one here, 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 and here. So once you get these push buttons out, just give it a good pop up. And then I'm still fishing the wire through, through that hole I showed you earlier. So I'm gonna run it in longer brake lines and then pop it out by the brake reservoir, hook it up to the battery and it should be good to go. Oh shit, Oof. you can't see it, but there. I got it zip tied to the brake lines. And what I did is uh, from the top, I fished down some zip ties I put together and then duct taped them so they would lay flat. Um, so I'm gonna crawl under there just so I got enough room for me. There's the zip tie sticking out. See it right there. So I'm gonna tape the end of that wire to the zip tie and then pull it up through there. It'd be a lot easier than Trying to fish it up from the bottom. All right, I fished it up through there. Can't see, it's dark. With the uh, zip tie setup that I had. So here's my wire, got the fuse in, goes to the positive terminal. 
close that down i'll zip tie this so it's nice and neat and should be it uh you'll just have to take my word for it all the lights work but yeah so here it is all hooked up Easy peasy.